incredibly tragic story tonight out of San Mateo where a welfare check at a family home ended with a gruesome discovery inside. Neighbors told our Lauren Toms about the disturbing sound they heard right before they heard police sirens. Yeah, more than a dozen investigators have been on the scene here on the 4100 block of Alameda de las Pulgas for more than 12 hours and questions in this quiet community are mounting into what exactly led to the deaths of these four individuals. Ron has lived in this sleepy San Mateo neighborhood a long time. He says crime isn't usually top of mind. We've lived here 27 years, raised a daughter here, used to play at Beresford Park uh, right down the street, and it's not anything you ever think about. That changed Monday morning when four people, including two four-year-old children, were found dead in their home. Investigators have been tight-lipped about what happened, but neighbors like Ron are shocked. When you hear it's an entire family, mother, father, two minor children, of course your mind starts to go to a place of what tragic event happened. San Mateo police have so far said someone called them asking to check the home on Alameda de las Pulgas. When they got there around 915 this morning, they found all four people dead inside. Neighbors say they heard what sounded like gunshots before then, but police wouldn't talk about the adults or children who died and didn't say if or how they are related. We have not ruled out anything. That's why we are here and we're doing uh, everything we can to rule out or confirm or do anything. So everything is still under investigation and, and um, we'll stay here until we get those questions answered. Police did insist they're not searching for suspects and that there is no threat to the public. Longtime neighbors like Kathy walk down this street almost every day and likely will never look at it the same way. I think they always decorate the house for Halloween. Even with few details to offer, police were clear that what did happen was both unusual and awful. Horrible and tragic call. Um, not many people get calls like this and have to respond to this. So, so this is not a normal call for anyone. Um, it's tragic for the family, the community, the officers, everyone involved. Now officials have hours of video and phone records to comb through to piece together what led to the deaths of these four people. And I'm told the autopsies of these four individuals is expected to take place on Tuesday when we can expect to learn more about their identities.